Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and I hope you're all doing very well this evening or whatever time you're watching this. Today I thought I would do a no makeup makeup challenge. This is going to be a challenge for me because I wear super super full coverage um, foundation and makeup very kind of, I'm going to say cakey. Um, so this is going to be a massive challenge for me today. But I think I can do it, um, but we will see. If you want to see how this turns out, then just keep on watching. So to start off with, as I would do with any foundation or any look, I'm going to prime my skin. And today I'm going to go back to my Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Razor Primer. And I'm just going to take a small amount of that onto my fingers. And then I'm going to focus mostly on my nose. And then just blend out. And as you can tell, I've got a bit of a breakout here. And it's kind of annoying me. It's been there all week and I've tried to get rid of it. And it's just not going at the moment. So I'm just going to put that all over my face. Making sure to get in any creases under my eyes, on my eyes. Like so. I'm next going to take my Too Faced Hangover Primer. This is just to give my face that extra bit of moisture and dewiness. And I'm gonna just rub that into the rest of my face. So I would do this step with any foundation that you're gonna um, use, whether it be full coverage, whether it just be light, whether just to wear this for the day. Um, it just sort of makes your skin all glowy. like so. I'm also going to take my EOS lip balm and I can't open this, it's always just to make sure I've got those moisturised lips and there we have our skin base done. Um, next I'm going to go on to my foundation. So for foundation today for a slightly lighter coverage I'm going to be using my Too Faced Born This Way foundation this is in the shade porcelain which is completely not what I was expecting it to be called and I'm going to be taking my foundation buffy brush by buffy brush <laughs> buffing brush by morphe and this is perfect if you do want that lighter coverage which I'm going to try and do now this foundation I'm almost out of which is the annoying part okay so we're just going to start off with a little bit and I'm going to take it on this brush and just dot it around my face. I've probably still got too much and it's probably still going to look cakey. But this is a challenge as I said. <laughs> and then we're just going to use circular motions and just buff that into our skin. I recently dyed my hair like yesterday so my ears are really pink so I'm gonna have to really go over them today and the more you buff it in and more natural and more no makeup y it looks I think it looks really nice and really I'll see this bit is gonna be a pain today but it just looks really dewy under my eyes a bit more. All dewy and all natural. So I'm going to do my eyebrows off of camera because I'm rubbish at doing them on camera. I'm as bad as I am off camera as well but hopefully if I'm off camera I'll be able to make them a little bit more natural and not as filled in. I'll see you in a minute. So I am back with my eyebrows all done. Um, now we are on to concealer and today I'm going to use the Maybelline Instant Age Anti-Age Eye Eraser. Which looks disgusting and I haven't used it in a while. Um, this is in light 
and we're gonna just put this under our eyes. I'm gonna grab a mirror one second. And I'm gonna use my beauty blender just to blend that into my skin. And onto my eyelid because I do have some like pink because my eyeshadow decided to stain my skin yesterday. <laughs> take my small brush and I'm just going to powder under my eyes with my translucent setting powder this is the Laura Mercier one it just looks like this I love this powder I don't need I'm not going to bake today I usually do bake just going to use this my small brush and just just gonna set the main parts that usually crease to my eyes and also the parts that get a bit oily it's like I just set my whole face <laughs> and then with a bigger brush I'm gonna take the tiniest amount and just go all over the face I'm literally taking that much all around my face just because I have the oily skin in the world I swear it's so bad right now just to make sure we don't look too powdery I'm going to use my pollution protection urban decay setting spray and just literally drench my face in this Like so, I'm just gonna grab my So I'm now, <clears throat> so that is now all set and dry. I am now going to use my MAC um, bronzer and I'm just going to bronze up my face, but not too much, just a light bronzing just to add a bit of dimension. I am not going to be contouring today because um, obviously that would look a bit harsh on this skin. So bronzing is the next best thing to be able to do that. Just want it to look nice and natural. I like my skin, but better. That's what I like to look like at the moment. <laughs> Especially for this challenge. Just my skin. But I think it's a bit better. love how this looks I didn't think I would I'm more of a matte person that likes it all flat and then add dimension back in so that's it all bronzed up and this spot is really annoying me because it keeps poking through all my foundation next we're going to use blush now this is the main part of a natural look is that you need it to look like you've got flush cheeks and that it's just all flushy <laughs> so I'm going to use my Tarte High Performance Naturals palette and it looks like this I think this looks awesome I think I got this as a freebie in one of my orders that I did and we're just going to take Abstract which is a really like peachy natural flush and we're just going to lightly flush our cheeks and if it looks a bit harsh go back in with the big powder brush and just I think this light makes everything look a bit harsher because it does not look like that in person just gonna peach up every part of my face just to blend it all together 
And then we're going to do another lot of setting spray. This just sets it all in place as well, but also gets rid of that powdery look from the rest of the powders. And then while it is still a little bit sticky and wet, I'm going to take a fluffy brush and my MAC uh, Mineralized Skin Finish and just sort of highlight the face very lightly because obviously we still want it to look like a natural glow. So this is definitely my skin, but better. So this is the, so this is the skin all complete. I love how this has turned out. I feel like really like cute and girly. This is really nice. Cause usually it's really cakey and sort of heavy on my skin. So it's still sort of setting. And I'll be back in a second to do a tiny bit of eyeshadow. So I am back and I'm going to use the bronzer that I used to bronze up my face on a fluffy brush and just blend that in the eyelid. Obviously, trying to keep it as natural as we can, but still wanting to give that slight dimension to the eye. Also bring it under the eye. Just like so, just blending. So I'm gonna do the same on the other eye. Like so, coming in. <laughs> so I'm then gonna do my mascara and just, oh, I know what I need to do. I'm gonna curl my lashes. Put a few coats of this on my eye. So that's the eyes all complete. I'm now going to go on to the lips. And instead of using a like matte lipstick, I'm going to be using my mini Tartus Glossy Lip Paint and in like a nude colour. This looks so, I'm going to say like natural. So I'm just going to. I'm not usually a gloss person but this gloss is not sticky it sits on your lips really nicely and just makes them look really like pouty and okay so that is the end of the challenge and if you did enjoy it then please give it a big thumbs up down below I love how this turned out and I think this might be my new go-to everyday makeup look um, I just think it's so natural and glowy the lipstick might be a big pass it'll probably be a matte liquid lipstick just because that's what I'm used to but other than that I love this look if you have enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more of these challenge type videos comment below if there are any other challenges you want me to try and I will see you in the next video guys bye